actually I haven't really spoken on the way today, so on today's agenda, um, it's really a chill, relaxing day. Um, the boys uh, saw Santa going down the street. I didn't know if I would miss it or get it on camera in time, so I just let the camera alone. And then they saw Santa go by on the fire truck. Then we saw Santa <coughs> at the grocery store at a toy drive, and the boys were able to pick a couple little toys. And now we are home. I'm running a bath so I can have like a little soak. And then I'm going to use the stuff that my bio mom got me for Christmas. And I'm going to put on a little face mask and all that stuff. I'm really excited. And I already picked out my Christmas muumuu and my Christmas sweater because it is crunch time. So we're going to get ready to relax and knit the day away. Because we have, a, well, it's not a lot, but it's a lot if you think about it. So let's take a nice bath and knit some. Hey y'all, it is much, much later and um, I don't have a lot of footage. So my goal is for the footage to be me finishing the sweater. So 
I'm gonna talk to my husband and knit some and then come back and fill you in a little bit more. Okay, so I have added on the other sleeve ball, added that on there. This is how much I have left of the first sleeve. So what I'm gonna do is turn on a Christmas movie. I'm gonna turn on a Christmas movie. Girl, I'm right here. Thank you. I'm gonna turn on a Christmas movie, knit, from beginning to the Christmas movie to the end of the Christmas movie. And then I'm going to try it on, see how long it is. And I am thinking using this skein. Maybe this is the body skein. What skein is it? I don't know. Oh, maybe I use this to swatch. Did I swatch? No. Yes, yes I did, yes I did, yes I did. I don't know, I don't know where the skin came from now. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's probably gonna be the skein that we're gonna do the ribbing with. So, let me find a movie, turn it on and we'll get in it. All right, so we are uh, here three YouTube videos later, each over 18 minutes. So let's try it on. Oh man, that's a good one. That's a good one. So my belly button is right here. So it's definitely past the belly button. So we're kind of past cropped. We're kind of like get like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's not, it's not cropped, but I'm going to say it's full either. I guess it's basically full. This is where my belly button is. It's so like right there. Oh, this is perfect. Oh yeah, and then just put like a little ribbon on there. Oh yeah, I'm ready for the ribbing. Um, I think I'm gonna do what I did on the cuffs. 
and just do five rows of ribbing just because I don't want to overwhelm the ribbing on the bottom. I'm either gonna do five rows or the inch and some change to match the collar. But yeah, she is. Yeah. Oh man, what a good fit. This just fits so good. I think I'm becoming a drop shoulder girly. I don't think I wanna do raglans anymore. I feel like I don't wear my raglan sweaters because I feel like they fit me funny. But like every every drop shoulder thing I've made, I think I've only made, no, I've made three. I've made three drop shoulder cardigans and every one I've put on, I love. Um, and that jacket thing I'm knitting is also a drop shoulder. So I just, I'm in love with a drop shoulder. Can we talk about the stripe? How the stripe is freaking perfect. Like, it's, it's freaking perfect, bro. It's like it goes in right across. Like, this is everything. So what I'm gonna do is fade in that big, Fade in that big skein that I showed you that I don't know where it's from. I'm gonna fade that in. Then I'm gonna add this to the scraps magic knot ball I made. And then, um, yeah, probably knit one round. Do my little, um, yeah, do my little, uh, what you call it? Fade in. And my fade ins look beautiful, like this yarn. I feel like it was dyed very well. Like everything is so cohesive. Like as far as like the pooling and stuff. Like it doesn't look like I'm like using more than one skein. Like it all looks like it's the same dye lot. Oh yes. Go honey. Whoever fiber optic yarns is. You go. You go, Glen Coco. Okay. Yeah, so let, let's let's get into it. So that way the the longer we sit here and procrastinate and rub it, the more it won't get done. So let's take it off, then do everything I just said. Let's get her done. Okay, so we are at the two o'clock mark. I'm gonna take like a two hour nap. Sorry that the camera is blurry. The lighting is off. Is that blue? Okay, I'm gonna take a two hour nap and then uh, come back to you guys. I just started the ribbing. I wanted to make sure the yarn was connected, but we are indeed on the ribbing. So I'm gonna take a two hour nap and then come back.